A series of community-driven conversations to combat crime kicked off today in Prince George's County, the first one held at Flowers High School. Fox 5's Lily Zhang is live tonight with those details. Lily. Well, Marina County leaders say many of the students they spoke with today, they either know victims who have experienced violence or they know perpetrators. But they say the biggest takeaway that they learned today is that parents need to speak with their children. Ask them what they're feeling. Ask what we can all do to help them through all of the, the mental pain that they're experiencing. And then to say to our kids, we, we are asking our kids, and I know the state's attorney and I both said the same thing, to just please ask our kids not to make permanent decisions based on temporary emotions. News crews were not allowed inside the school during the conversation. Flowers High School has been tied to a recent case involving youth crime. It is where a suspect accused of killing Duval High School student Jada Madrano Moore attends. The Prince George's County State's Attorney says that is where the idea for the student-driven conversations came from. They want to prevent future tragedies and believe input from the youth population will help. Today's panel included the mother of 8-year-old PJ Evans, who was shot and killed in 2021. One. Here's what she had to say. But for me, I, I had structure in my house. And it's a lack of structure right now going on. These kids are running their households, you know, and that's because they're not being heard. Parents don't even know their kids' favorite color. That's a problem, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like right now, parents need to go home and understand their children. Now, today was not the last conversation they will hold. I'm told they will hold future ones. They would like to include parents in those as well. But as far as when those conversations will be held, we have not heard of an official date yet. We'll send it back to Jim and Marina.